Hey, hey, hey. So, with a black shirt and a black background and a big white bald head. Eh. Plus, just to avoid any glares. I think I'm going to go with a hat, but I may take it off later. So, we'll see how it goes. For anyone that actually cares. Meaning no one. So, I love movies. I mean... I really love movies. It is probably the number one topic when having conversations with my friends. Okay, you got me there. If I had any friends, that would be the most common topic of conversation. Um, something that bothers me a little bit, though, is um, movie reviews. Critics really suck. And not just for movies, but for TV shows, for video games. I mean, when audience score is 99% and critic score is 12%, or you can flip-flop them, it's like, it has become rather clear that critics don't know how to review movies right now maybe it's just me but it seems as though it's not about the game or the show or the movie it's about politics mostly identity politics and dumb things that have nothing to do with why people even take part in entertainment. So I thought I would do the world some good and give a quick little how-to for all the professional shills. So let's see, how do you critique something? All right, welcome to my master class on how to review. Now it's very, very simple. There are five things that you have to touch on. That's it. You can do more, but you cannot do less. You have to address these five topics. Now, as long as you hit these five topics, you can go on some long tangents. I do. And you're still covering what needs to be covered. But if you miss those, I don't care how much time you spend giving your opinion on the politics of the producer, you're not doing a review. So, the very, very first thing that I have on my list is, what is this trying to do? Now, I'm aware that books, video games, TV shows, movies, what they're trying to do is entertain you. But how about we dig just a little bit deeper than entertain you? Uh, Friday the 13th Part 3 is trying to entertain you by being scary. The Expendables entertain you with action, gore, explosions. Uh, the Titanic is trying to be romantic and sentimental right simple number two is it successful at what it's trying to do is the Friday 13th third movie in 3d scary does the expendables have good action do you feel emotionally attached or sentimental watching Titanic simple that's number two all right now the third thing I want to cover in my master class is probably the most difficult one to uh, determine but I think it's important that's why it's on my list the third one is is this worth doing so if number one is 
what are they trying to do? And number two is, are they successful? Why would we need number three? Around the year 2000, a couple years before, a couple years after, that around the time of Y2K, when all the uh, computers shut down, which is why I had to mail this to you. Um, so shot for shot remake of Psycho. They wanted to be faithful to the original. They were absolutely faithful. Was it successful? Absolutely. They got a wonderful cast, Vince Vaughn, Anne Hesch, Julianne Moore, and it is shot for shot, just like the first one. The acting is great. The camera work is fantastic. But the camera work was just copied from Hitchcock, and Hitchcock is fantastic. So was it worth attempting? No. Not really. I can just watch the original. Now, remakes is one that generally makes me focus on number three here. Uh, you get a fantastic uh, Dutch movie. It is brilliant. And then the director remakes it in English. Shot for shot remake with English speaking cast. Great cast, Tim Roth cast, right? Is it worth it? Yes. While I think everyone should watch the original, there are people that just can't get behind subtitles. They're not going to be able to enjoy or appreciate the movie. I don't mind subtitles. Some people do. You should not miss out on a great movie just because you don't do subtitles. Now there will be those that say, no, they shouldn't do it, blah, blah, blah. It's not original. Right. But it, I think it was worth it for that reason. Um, you want to remake King Kong. Okay. King Kong's great. Special effects have changed to the point where you can now do it and make it look fantastic. Yeah, I think it's worth it whether I like it or love it or hate it. I still see there's a reason for it. So, yeah. That's number three. I think it's important. Um, you can do everything right. But why? Why do we care? Um, Terminator Dark Fate. New one in the theater. Um... Whether you like it or hate it, I don't see that there's a reason for it other than gender swapping things. Uh, the reboot of Ghostbusters was just, it. there was no reason for it. Just, oh, now they're all females. Okay. That's, that's number three. We'll all disagree. But, at least you can say what it is and why you feel that way. Number four. Who would you recommend this to? Now, honestly, this is probably the most important of the five. Who would you recommend this to? Uh, Boondock Saints 2. Not a good movie. It's not. I love the movie. Because I am a huge, huge fan of the first movie. And this brings back the cast. Yes. I want to see them again. Don't care. I want to see them again. I watched it. I enjoyed it. And right now they're shopping around a TV series. I'm going to watch that too. Love, love Boondock Saints. Uh, Train Spotting 2. If you're a huge fan of the first one, you should see the second one. It's not as good. So, it serves its purpose. You get to see what happened to these characters after the fact. Uh, the Downton Abbey movie. I am going to watch that. I'm going to watch that a lot. Why? 
I enjoy the show. Um, simple as that. All right, now the fifth and final thing is uh, who should avoid this? Now, I know you're thinking, uh, shouldn't that be covered under number four? No, not exactly. Um, I love the movie Clockwork Orange. I think it is an important movie that everyone should watch. Almost. A long, long time ago, I was on a date. I know, shocking. And I put Clockwork Orange in the VCR. Yes, yes, I'm that old. And we're watching Clockwork Orange. My young date loves Beethoven. Uh, she was a bit of a film buff. Yeah. Great movie. Fits every criteria for stuff she would like. There's a part in the movie where someone is victimized. And turns out she had been victimized in a similar way. So seeing that portrayed in the movie, it ended the date. Um, she could not enjoy the movie. It was not good. No fault of the movie. No fault of her. Just... It triggered a negative feeling. I love horror movies. I can't do water. I've had an incident and I don't do water. So 47 meters down or Megalodon, even the Blue Lagoon, I, I can't do it. Panic attacks and yeah, I know. Really pathetic. But, uh, yeah. Not for me. Not the fault of the movie. I'm the pathetic asshole. Not the filmmakers. So, yeah. That's why I think number five should be added. If someone just lost their spouse, P.S. I Love You might not be the best movie to suggest. I don't want to call it trigger warnings because people have watered that down so much. Just, people should avoid this because of that. It'd be a nice thing to pop into the review, I think. So, yes, aside from that, what about my opinions? Yes, you can and absolutely should give your opinions. State those five things, why they, why you feel this way about that, blah, 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 and throw in other stuff, what it reminds you of, the score. Uh, if you want to go on about the political ideology of someone in the cast or crew, by all means, go for it. But you have to cover those five things. Opinions are subjective. And these are five objective things we can be subjective about. I just think this is what's needed for a review. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I do know I enjoyed making the video. And maybe you even learned something from it. If you weren't too distracted by my dimples. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Um, seriously though, I really do enjoy making these videos. And it means a lot that people watch them. So thank you. It really does give me a lot of joy. And speaking of joy, I don't care what movie you watch that you like. If it's a good movie or a bad movie, loved or hated, at the end of the day, if it gives you pleasure, then it's a good thing. This world needs more joy and happiness and a lot less judgment. So thank you for watching this.
like, subscribe, share, all those usual things. But most importantly, enjoy your day. <laughs>